Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to, well, those gonna say welcome back to the new year, but it's a new year and we all just got here. So yeah, as you can see, we're doing things a little differently this year. I am taking a cue from Mandy Dreams and Odd Loop and Paper and Milk and trying my hand at doing voiceovers. I think this way may work out better for myself and for you guys. That way my plan with me's are a little shorter. Everything happens a little quicker. And for me, I get to plan as I do normally. And also, um, I don't have to worry about talking during the plan with me, which is when I do my best, I guess. And this is me taking a breath in because of the new layout of the neutral air and condren freaked me the F out. And so many people were having trouble with getting the sticker placement right that I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I took a cue from Andrea, SPC queen, because she was the one who kind of figured it out so that it looks like the old style of Erin Condren planning, kind of like with the headers and like you know the exact placement, sorry for my head and now you can't see what I'm doing and all you see is my dirty, dirty hair. Um, sorry, I just like, the trick to doing this was Andrea said to line up the bottom washi up three of those little annoying dots and for some reason it was lining up on one side and wasn't lining up on the other and that was super duper frustrating for me so I needed to like stick my head right into like right over the planner but yeah while I'm trying to figure this washi thing out and I'm going to show you guys that it doesn't cover all the way completely because I make it super crooked and I get super frustrated with it um I am going to be doing kind of plan as I go style before my plan with me's would be just my the beginning of my week and then you guys could see my finished spreads um, with like undoed plans and just like more memory planning kind of things on my Instagram but I decided that this way you guys see a finished week after every plan with me and I can just film like by myself but also get a video out to you guys that was me showing you guys uh, the washi and yeah, I'm just putting the full boxes down now I'm interrupting myself as I'm trying to explain what I'm doing, but this is going so fast so what I'm doing is putting down the Bull boxes on the bottom the ones I had to plan to put on the bottom first that way They're lined up with the bottom washi and then I could put the glitter headers on top of those But I didn't do that of course because I still need to put the glitter headers at the top and since I wanted to stagger all the colors I needed to do those first and yes, I did put the double box on Friday, Saturday. I did like a whole like debate on my Instagram and I, stories thing. And I was like, who's Wednesday, Thursday, and then who's Saturday, Sunday. And then I saw Holly from Holly Plans um, for her home for the holidays week, I think. She did Friday, Saturday, and I really liked how that looked. And I was like, I'm going to do that with these guys because it is a couple in a hot tub. So jealous the fact they're a couple and the fact they're, they're in the hot tub. What did I even just say? But yeah, um, I couldn't do them Wednesday, Thursday because um, the girl's head would get cut off and it just looks so weird to have them that separated. So I was like biting my tongue, not biting my tongue, but like biting the bullet. And I was like, okay, I'll have them right next to each other, which is something I really don't like doing. But I think it came out really cute. I needed those two boxes together. Otherwise, it would have looked super weird. Plus, there was a blizzard on Thursday, and I thought the iPhone taking pictures of the snowy, wintry trees fit better for that day. So now you can see I'm putting down the glitter headers. So what I did was put down the glitter headers on top of the boxes that were already down there, and then I lined the other glitter headers up with that row, then put down the middle ones, and then put down the ones up against, whatever. I really don't know how to explain it, but like you can see it and it kind of makes sense. I'm gonna like, at, like just go to uh, Scribble Prince Curl, blah, blah, blah. go to a Scribble Prince Co. A YouTube channel. I'll have it linked down below and pretty much any of like the recent kits from like the last three months and Andrea does white space planning. This is pretty much how she does it and she's not uh, speeding up her videos like I am now. The only reason the speed up doesn't work today is because I'm trying to explain this and it's very, very hard. But it ended up coming out so, so cute. I sent a picture to Andrea and I was like, are you proud, Auntie Draw? Are you proud? Because it looked just like any other planner. That's me having a little 
party. So then I moved on to the sidebar and as you can see I have all my plans from this past week that just happened in my TN. So the first thing I was going to do is grab two habit trackers from this glam planner kit. By the way it was uh, I think November mystery and it was so cute. I did really love the colors and the soft like wintry pastels. I thought it would be the great Est, the great test the best kit to start my year off with since I did do New Year's in um as my last spread of 2017 and you guys know I love the couple in the hot tub so I just I just had to it was so cute so I'm putting down the two habit trackers and then I debated on putting down this film slate and I was just like nah because there was no like face mask or kind of pampering sticker and I didn't want to pull in any of the fox and cactus ones because they were kind of like too much which I think ended up working out great because I ended up using so many emojis and so many like munchkins and things like that but yeah so for the rest of the sidebar I did have like plans to put in a happy mail tracker just for packages that I was expecting to get when I got home on Sunday but uh, PayPal messed up my address so now none of it's getting to me the way it should um, I'm trying to fix that but yeah anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna put down a to do and then a this week list so the to do will have the five heart checklist and then the this week will just have the three heart checklist and I'm gonna put a piece of washi over the five heart checklist to make it a three heart checklist but yeah while that's happening because this part's a little boring boring this part's a little boring but the reason I decided to do these sped up plan with me, like I said, is because I get to plan just like in silence, you know, like without rushing or without worrying about like anything that I have, like I have to say or be a little more entertaining. Because um, I feel like there is that pressure when you do plan with me to be slightly more entertaining. Um, and in the moment is just like too much. I have ADD. So placing down stickers, finding a sticker and then talking about it is was like way too much for me. And I think that's what burned me out. So hopefully this way works better. And um, so as you can see, this plan with me was for the week of January 1st, and I'm posting it on January 8th, and that's how most of them are going to work. So you guys are pretty much going to see finished spreads. It's just going to be like a week delayed, if that makes any sense. I mean, just the schedule will make it – the schedule itself will make sense, but right now I'm not making any sense. So, yeah, I ended up putting the two little flags, the big ones that are for the new neutral Aaron Condren, and they're so – lovely and these actually happen to fit really perfectly so I was happy with that I didn't have to cut anything off and I didn't have to cover anything with white out so yeah now we're going to start going day by day at first I have this rose color days holidays foiled sheet that I used to put in a happy new year because it was new year happy new year by the way guys I know I said it was 2018 but I never said happy happy new year I didn't do much on new year's new year's eve is more of when my family and I Party if you're a Russian, Snovum Godum. Yeah, you got no, we party. So we were up for a very long time. So I slept in on the first and then we actually opened up presents. Um, it was me, my sister, and my mom and my sister's new boyfriend. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. I got a lot of cool stuff. It made me feel really bad because I feel like I didn't get um my family as much stuff I mean I got them some cool stuff but I feel like I didn't get them as much and my sister got something that I couldn't even wrap so I was like oh I feel like I was spoiled and I got you guys nothing so yeah uh Monday was a pretty chill day I ended up binge watching Once Upon a Time the new season with Henry as an adult like what I mean it was really weird I don't like the actress who plays Cinderella I think I'm not alone but it's bearable and it's like not a serious show so I really like it and while I was watching Once Upon a Time my sister got this paint by numbers thing for me so I was just doing that because she did leave with her boyfriend to Pennsylvania leaving me and my mom alone on New Year's Day that was fine it was fine um so we did end up going to my friend my mom's friend's house for dinner that's usually what we do on New Year's Day you just eat all the leftovers of the food you made and then me and my friend Anastasia just chilled and had like some boy talk. It was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. We just talked about boys and Tinder and things like that and naughty bits and whatever. Um, yeah, for some reason, I filmed myself filling out the sidebar. I think I was going to film myself filling everything out. And I was like, there's just no way. I think this is at four times speed, me filling this out. But I'll leave it in. Also, I totally didn't mention that most of the stickers that I used for a Monday are the emojis from a Coffee Monsters Co. And then I did use an appointment label and 
a half box with a clinking glass icon from the Glam Planner Kit. I'm on a learning curve here, so I have to figure out how much of this needs to be storytelling and how much of this needs to be explaining what the heck I'm even doing, even though I'm still writing. My goodness, this really does take forever. That's why I never do it on camera. Even set sped up, this is taking for freaking ever. I had December monthly written into my to-do, and I couldn't figure out what I meant for the longest time. I wrote monthly again. <gasps> I wrote monthly. I keep doing that. I keep forgetting the H in the word monthly whenever I write it, but oh well, we're leaving it. Um, and I did use a camera icon to mark that just so I remember because I know I'd forget again, even though this week is over and this should have been done. None of that was done. I don't know why I checked it off. But yeah, moving on to Tuesday. Ooh, I have my Paper Princess plan stickers. Oh my gosh, I just got these in the mail and I didn't even haul them. At least this address got to me. But yeah, I didn't haul them yet, but I was like, I can't wait. I need to use these. So at first, I did go to Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast with my friend Carla because we were going to go ice skating. So I used a little munchkin just like clinging onto a coffee mug with a little heart. And then I used a half box from the kit with a paper princess plans pastel winter with the blonde girl with the earmuffs and holding her little coffee cup i love this it matched the kit so well it's kind of big but i still loved it so much then i ended up moving removing not moving i ended up removing the glitter headers so that way i had more room to put more activities in it's my new favorite thing to do i'm super jealous of andrea's kind of like plan as i go style and like the way mandy plans i've always loved how they get to just like go straight down. I'm very much like closed off boxes, but if there's a lot going on, then I have started to like removing a glitter header um, to make room for more stuff. So yeah, I put down an appointment label to cover up that little gap and then a best friend's munchkins sticker to write that me and Carla went to Atlantic Terminal. Um, I could have used a shopping one, but we didn't really shop. We just walked around, so I thought that was cute. Then I put down a Once More With Love, um, kind of like McDonald's, eat, like Munchkin Eating French Fry sticker. I do end up removing it because it's rather large. Um, it didn't take up as much time as that sticker did. So I was like, I really am not comfortable with how large it is. So I ended up finding just like uh, the fast food sheet from Coffee Monsters Co. I tried putting the little burrito down because we ate like chicken wraps really quick because we were starving. And um, it was going to be quite a drive to get to my taco spot, which is where we ended up going later. Um, so I didn't like it very much, so I ended up putting just the fries because they took up less room and they looked a lot cuter to mark McDonald's. And then I end up putting down a Coffee Monsters Co. like road trip sticker. I cut the road trip part off the top to mark that we were stuck in traffic for a very long time and we were just jamming out in the car to Carla's Spotify playlist. Her playlist is at the absolute best. And then I got to go eat my tacos. Oh, mis amores, mis tacos. I love them so much. I get so excited whenever I get to eat them. I love seeing the cooks there. I love being there. Like in the taco spot, they had a Christmas tree and Christmas decorations up and I was just living for it. Also, I went to go see a psychic. Um, I know that part just skipped right on by, but I did go to see a psychic. Um, I'm like a half believer, half. I'm just super interested to see what a person would tell me. And guys, April 2020, mark your calendars. Everyone's invited to my wedding. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's like, I'm not... I don't know how to explain this. Like, I feel like some people think I'm being, like, very serious and I'm, like, waiting for this dude to, like, show up. But I'm, it's funny to me. And if it ends up happening that I meet this guy, 5'11", is what I'm calling him, because he's supposed to be 5'11", then we can all just, like, laugh about it and we can all go see the psychic. But he's really old, so hopefully he doesn't die before then. But yeah, moving on to Wednesday. A lot has just happened and we've skipped right through it. Emotis and munchkins galore. I went to a Mexican restaurant, Tex-Mex restaurant, with Carla and my sister. Then we went to Primark and I bought a lot of unnecessary things, but it only all cost me $40. So I was like, yes. We went to Starbucks, we went to Michael's, and then me and my sister spent, where am I going? I just paused the recording to slow down this clip because it was going way too fast. Um, but me and my sister spent the night together. We ended up painting our respected um, paint by numbers things. Hers was way easier than mine. Had some tea and we watched Fifty Shades of Grey because she really wanted to. She was really awkward and I was like taking notes. No, I'm totally kidding. That was a really weird thing to say. But I don't know. It was funny. I just 
It was funny. I enjoyed it. It's a very like guilty pleasure movie. So moving on to Thursday, I have this half box here and I'm putting a piece of washi down because there was a blizzard and I'm grabbing this glam planner. Um, don't know her name. Her name's Lolly. No, Lolly's the pink one. Is that Bippity? Is that Bip? Girl Bippity, is that you? Whatever. I put her down with the snowman and then um, to mark the blizzard. And then I had breakfast at home with my family and I used a a modi to mark that then i placed down a fox and cactus pastel haired girl sticker with the heart eyes to mark that we watched the sequel to 50 shades of gray which is 50 shades darker i think um yeah i didn't like it on top of the glitter header so i was like bye bye glitter header and i ended up using um what is that a quarter box to mark that we watched that movie and there's there's my lovely head again so I put that down and then the next thing I do is grab an emoji, like a snow wintry emoji that's playing in the snow, but actually I use that to mark that I had to shovel. Even when I lived in New York, I never shoveled because it was only two shovels and it was my sister and my mom, but lo and behold, my mom found a third shovel, so I had to help them out. Then I marked um, that I had like a little Etsy shopping spree with that sticker from Fox and Cactus. Again, it's the pastel girl. And then on the bottom, I can't even see what I put, but I'm pretty sure it's an emoji watching Netflix because I started watching the show Mom with my mom. And I really, really love that show. It's genuinely so funny. And I don't know, I just love their personalities. So then for Friday, I grabbed a piece of washi and a do a happy dance, it's payday sticker from the planner junkie. And then I used two of the icons from the glam planner kit to mark that I had a bill due and that I was depositing some of the holiday money I got then I put down a fox and cactus Starbucks girl the pastel haired one why is this going so fast let me just let me just fix the speed of this so I thought I was gonna have room for that Starbucks girl plus something else um so I did take up the glitter header but then I ended up putting it back down because I don't mind her covering the glitter header because she looks so cute. Then I put a little fork and spoon, a meal icon from a Scribble Prince Co. Uh, multicolor pack. And then I put the girls night out sticker from the, uh, what am I doing here? What am I dancing? Girl, don't dance. We are messing this all kinds of up. So yeah, I took a, ha a quarter box, half box? Jeez, I'm messing all of this up. A half box from the kit and put a girl's night in the sticker with munchkins on it from Once More With Love to mark that I was just hanging out with my sister, my cousin, and my friend Carla. And then when I drove Carla home, we went to go get some pizza and she happened to know the owner, so we got it for free. Then on Saturday, that was my last day in New York after my two-week vacation, which... It felt weird coming back to Texas because I was like, I can't believe I live here. Um, so I used another one of the paper princess girls and she is the one with a suitcase to mark to pack my mountain of crap that I somehow brought to, te not to Texas, brought to New York and then took home. Then I went to have brunch with my friend Gabby who was my high school friend, my middle school friend and I hadn't seen her in a year so that was a lot of fun. Then my cousin Robert came over and we hung out for a bit and then my mom took me to dinner at my favorite Turk favorite. Turkish restaurant and it was so so delicious and then we ended up driving to the airport and of course my flight got delayed so I ended up marking that with a pastel haired girl who was sleeping and then I put the flight sticker all the way at the bottom because it's a very late night flight and I got home at 4 a.m. so clearly I slept in and I used an emoji to mark that behind a piece of washi on Sunday then Ryan and I were gonna go get brunch we wanted to go to snooze but the line was like out the door because we didn't realize it was Sunday and it was brunch and the store closed not the store but the restaurant closed in an hour so we ended up going to Shake Shack because he had never been then I used another pastel haired girl from Fox and Cactus to mark to unpack my things I couldn't find a luggage sticker that I liked so I ended up using that with the laundry basket because that's pretty much what all my clothes looked like anyway then I had pretty much spent all of Sunday catching up in my planner because I was gone for two weeks so it's uh, the last week of 2017 and this week that I had to uh, plan so the one I did off camera and this one I had to do on camera So it took up a majority of my day So I had an old-school scribble prints co flag that I wanted to put down to mark groceries But it took up too much room and I also wanted to lunch prep and spoiler alert I didn't do either of those so I'm gonna be doing them on Monday the 8th But I still left it in there. I had every intention of going but I didn't so I used a mini flag and put a mini uh, grocery cart in Modi on top of it and then I was going to write grocery run next to it and then I used a little meal prep emoji to mark that and by the way that planner desk 
situation is from the Coffee Monsters Co. It's also a new sticker that I forgot to haul. So yeah, that is all the stickers down, and now you guys get to see me put down the deco. Now I can leave this part in because I can speed right through it so you guys get to watch. Even though I push my planner out of frame at some point, I do bring it back in. But yeah, I just get to stick everything down. Everything fit perfectly. It looked so pretty towards the end, except that one sticker got away. One little sticker got away. So yeah, I just do that, and then I end up cutting off all the stickers. You guys should, you guys should, you guys should really know. <laughs> um, it'd be cool if you guys let me know if you like this style of planning. This kind of worked out really well for me, just because it. I had like 55 minutes of footage, but it really didn't feel like it, and I had a lot of fun the whole time. I got to take my time choosing the right sticker, so I feel like the spread came out the way I really wanted to. And this year, I'm going to be using this lovely pen gems with the Pilot High Tech C. 0.4 tip pen to fill everything out. It pretty much works the same as my Pilot G2, but I loved it. I mean, I didn't love it anymore. I didn't love it any less, but the pen itself looks so much prettier. And then I did use a uh, the Pilot, no, a Stardust Jelly Roll and Metallic pen for anything that needed a little checkbox, as I always do. And then I totally forgot to add in my countdowns because my birthday is in four months from the 2nd of January. And then I also have these one, like, moving stickers because I am moving back to New York this year. I miss New York very, very much. So yeah, that completed the entire spread. I love, love how this spread turned out. I'm so happy it's the first spread in um, my new 2018 planner. It's very wintry. It's very pastel. It's very soft. It's got that hot tub thing like I said before is in there and it's cute. Um, I love how it's chock full of plans and it's actually chock full of plans and not just like do the groceries and like do the laundry because I mean I have to put those in there because this planner is something functional for me but it was nice to just put in a lot of stuff to a memory plan. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this format of plan with me. I know it's something different and somehow this video is still like 25 minutes long. I know Mandy's are like 12 and paper and milks are like 15 or 12. I don't actually remember but I know they're never longer than 20 minutes and mine's 24. Um, like I said, I'm a talker. It's, whether or not I'm doing it while I'm filming or doing it in a voiceover, I'm still talking a lot. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. I hope you enjoyed this style. Let me know what you think down below. I'm pretty sure I will not be changing back to talking during the video just because, like I mentioned a million times, it's way easier for me and like more fun for me creatively and just like... Uh, not emotionally, because this isn't really, like, emotionally draining. But if you do plan with me, you kind of know what I mean. You kind of know, like, that little, like, slump where you're like, I don't feel like talking. I just want to plan. So we're eliminating that. And you guys end up getting to see the whole week planned out. And then you guys can watch me, like, undo stuff and everything like that. So, yeah. Like I said a million times, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being so patient while I took my little hiatus. Um, hopefully I don't take one again at the end of the year. And here's to being super consistent in 2018. Happy New Year, guys, and I will see you next week. Bye!